Hi, I'm Monica, and I'd like to show you how to work with the iSuite i9 parameter software. In this instructional video, I'd like to show you how you can review a patient's test results. First, select the patient. Then, double-click onto any of the available examinations of the patient. This opens up all available examinations of that specific patient in the iSuite Perimetry Viewer. The iSuite Perimetry Viewer consists of three panels. On the left, you have the navigation panel that allows you to navigate through different examinations of that specific patient. In the center, you have the results panel that displays a patient's test result. And on the right hand side, you have the viewing options panel that allows you to alter the way the results of the patients are displayed. Let's have a closer look at the navigation panel now. The navigation panel allows you to navigate between examinations by simply clicking onto any of them to display it in the results panel. In the navigation panel, you can see all available test results of the patient, including static and kinetic parametry, monocular and binocular tests, and tests with any stimulus type or test pattern. In the example here of an end-stage glaucoma patient, you can see both the 30-degree G pattern and the 12-degree M pattern. If you want to see only certain types of tests, you can use the filter and sort function. Let's have a closer look at the results panel now. The results panel shows the test data of the examination selected of the patient whose ID, name and date of birth you can always find at the top right corner of the software. On the top of the results panel you can see the tested eye, test parameters and for single field representations also the test date and test time. Further below, depending on the view selected, you get both one or several graphical representations and the reliability and indices panel, which also contains all examination parameters. In the graphical panels, you can change the representation's eccentricity by clicking onto the eccentricity button, which is helpful if you want to have a more detailed view of the central visual field, for example. For more detailed information about the representation, you can click anywhere into the panel and the pop-up window opens up with both a description and interpretation aid of that specific representation. Click anywhere outside of the window to close it again. The same type of detailed information is also available for the reliability and indices panel. Let's move on now to the Viewing Options panel on the right-hand side. The Viewing Options panel allows you to alter the way the results are displayed in the Results panel. On the top, you can choose the Viewing Layout. You have the following options. You have a single eye view, which is especially helpful if you have a full field test with a lot of detailed information. Then you have a both eyes view, which is especially helpful for neurological tests where you want to look for symmetry between the left and the right eye. Then you have a four in one view, which allows you to select four representations of your choice. Then there is the standard seven in one representation, and there is a user defined layout, which allows you to define one or several views with a maximum of eight representations of your choice. The Perimetry Interpretation Aid is a learning and practice tool for visual field interpretation. It walks you step by step through the selected visual field and asks clinically relevant questions 
and displays the necessary data to answer that question. Information buttons provide more detailed background information if needed. To exit the parameter interpretation aid, click onto any other view icon. There are also several ways to look at multiple visual field results in a row. The series view allows you to select three representations of your choice and to display multiple visual fields next to each other. In the series view, you can mix different test patterns. The trend analysis for single eyes shows you both a global progression analysis as well as cluster trend analysis and polar trend analysis for the selected eye. The trend analysis for both eyes only shows you the global progression analysis with the four indices mean defect, square root loss of variance, diffuse defect and local defect. For any trend analysis, it's essential that you can freely choose which visual fields to include and exclude, which is especially important when there are unreliable visual fields included in a series. To see the reliability indicators of a specific visual field test, move the mouse onto that specific test and the false positives and false negatives are displayed. If you want to exclude a specific visual field test, press CTRL on your keyboard and use the mouse to deselect that field. The trend analysis is then automatically recalculated without the specific visual field test. Let's move now to the figure and eccentricity panel, which is used to modify some of the single field views. With the change figure button, you can click through different representations or select one of your choice. You can also flip through different eccentricities or select the one of your choice. You can navigate forward and backward between examinations both manually and automatically. Last, let's have a look at the customization panel, which allows you to individually modify the representations shown in the single eye, both eyes, forward one, seven in one, and user defined views. Let's modify the four in one view. To customize the four in one view, click onto the customization button. Then go to the arrow that appears on the top of the representation that you want to change and select the representation of your liking from the drop down menu. Then click save and now you have customized your four in one view. The user defined view provides you with additional customization options. First, you can define more than one user defined view and provide them with names to your liking. In addition, when you add a new one, you can not only alter the representations, but also remove and add representations as you like. Once happy with the view, you can save it and name it. This new view then appears in your list of user-defined views and can be selected. I hope you enjoyed this training and found it useful.